Okay, you guys, I'm at the Zig Kurataki booth with Jasmine. Hi. Say hi, everyone. Hi. Yay. Oh, and there's some Zig people on. Oh, yeah. Anna. Hi, Anna. And everyone's oh, wow. saying hello. Oh, We're how having exciting. so much fun. Yeah. This has been such a great show. And you I are, see you running you around are like crazy. You're the grand finale. Oh. So don't, no pressure. No, okay, pressure. no pressure. You're going to show us something amazing. Yes. I'll let our product. Something begin. amazing. And then, um, yeah, you're closing out our show. I'm so excited. Awesome. So um, well, thank you for having us. Thank you so much for supporting. Yesterday, you were like, yes, yes, we want to yep. do it. Yes. So uh, give me a little overview of um, what you got, what you want to show them. We're doing the watercolor pens. We have watercolor pens. They're a water-based dye. Okay. Um, I have, I do have a sample of them. Can I show this little sample first? Yeah. So we're in that room. is. So that is our uh, clean color real brush. You can notice the glimmer. Oh, what can is you? that glimmer from? This yeah. is the Wink Stella. Oh. So that I did a bit of fantastic. touching up with the Stella. That is beautiful. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm going to have uh, Becca stand on this side and hold the mic, and I'll come on this side so that you have more room to do your thing from home. Okay. okay. You guys ready? Oh, thank you. Um, sure. Thank you. Okay. So that's that the set so piece. That is so beautiful. And so is that watercolor paper? This actually is, yes. Okay. Yes, it is. Um, crystal paper works great, too. Okay. Here's another one, speaking of uh, Winka Stella. Oh this gosh. is actually a blending technique that, so that we beautiful. love to show off. So is it, the whole thing is two markers right it's there? Two orange markers. and yellow? Do you want me to show you yes. how it works? Oh, okay. Yes. This is all your hand lettering, right? Yes, it is. You're so amazing. Um, um, practice and practice. So um, the Luna right here was done with the, um, the purple Stella and then the blue Luna. Um, I can go ahead and show that one, but I'll do the um, sunshine one. So okay. I did the yellow, and which other one? You can show Luna. Either way, they love it all. Okay. So yeah, intermixing them. So I have the Stella. I'm going to be writing with the Stella, and I'm just touching the Luna just to the tip of the marker. Oh, I'm just lo oh. I'm loading the I'm loading the um the brush. Okay. With the Luna. So you're pushing putting the Stella right onto the Luna. It's oh so gosh. simple. You just touch it. That's it. And oh, just that's a, so easy. the more you hold it there, the more it's going to grab. Because it actually will suck it in, kind of, huh? Because it's liquid. Okay, fantastic. So you've just loaded it up right onto the Stella. And then look at that. It's still blue. It's still glittery, though. You notice the Stella's coming through all the yeah. glitter. Yes, they are both an uh, uh, individual fiber brush tip. Oh my goodness. Let me get this in the light a little bit so they can see. Can you, can you see the glitter? The sparkle. Okay, sometimes it takes a little maneuvering. I can see all the sparkle. I can yeah. See. Oh, there it is. Oh, uh, here's it? another very sparkle. Look at that. There, I got the sparkle. Look at that. Is that beautiful? Nice. Yes, they're saying light bulb moment. Yeah, you literally just put the color right onto the wink of Stella. Yep. That is so It's so easy. easy. And it's not just our Lunas and Stellas. Um, all of our lines of markers, you can They're saying um, gorgeous. Blend them. Look at the sparkle. The calligraphy is gorgeous. Of course it is. Um, Beth's saying, learning to watercolor is number one on my bucket list. So, yes, definitely. Watercolor is so popular. It's so popular. Okay. Go so we can definitely move into watercolor now. Yeah, let's do that. That is so pretty. So um, we did it kind of already talked about clean color. It is a water-based dye. So um, saturating it with water, it will turn into a watercolor. Okay. And it's called clean color. Clean color real brush. Okay. Yes. Um, but um, we have actually our just a traditional palette of watercolor. They're called Gonzai Tambi. This is so pretty. Gonzai Tambi. Just their traditional watercolor. It's okay. And these are just like cakes. Yes, exactly. Uh, you can take them out. This is our 36 set. Okay. Um, it goes all the way down to 12. Okay. Fantastic. So 12, yeah. Um, so they're um, still handmade in Japan to this day. Oh my they're gosh. thick, creamy, opaque, and glossy. Uh, they're like a typical watercolor or a traditional watercolor. The more water you add to them, yeah. the more transparent they will get. Um, thick, creamy, 
opaque and <laughs> glossy. Yeah. That, that's pretty much all of the favorite things, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. And then this So, is... like, with this piece here, I kind of did the brush calligraphy and watercolor, uh -huh. took them, put them together. So I know that's popular, so. Those are. I'm almost done. Okay, yeah. Like, <laughs> you came up right when I was X. doing this. Well, then you can finish the Y, the Y and the Z right now. Yes. Do you want to finish that and you yes. can give us a little demo? So. I was actually using one of our water, okay. water brushes. So oh, um, it's an H2O brush. All you do is you fill it up with water, um, clear water, clean okay. water. Let me just show them really quick. So they have there's a beautiful water brush. With the little bristles at the end, and yes. she's just filled it up with water. Yes, there's four sizes. I'm using the smallest one right now. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead again and use one of my favorite colors. So you that squeeze it so and more. I kind of always have a paper on the side just to test it and make mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, you always want to test before you put it on your permanent piece. I'm just running out of room. That's okay. <laughs> Z for zig. Beautiful. So that's so easy because the water's coming out all on its own. You don't oh, have yes. to worry um, about The more dipping. you squeeze it, the more the water is going to pump out. Okay. Um, here's another one. Cynthia's saying, I love their brushes. Maria, I love those brushes. I have several of those. Yeah, they're pretty fancy. Anna, if you have the correct site, we would love to put that up. Oh, there we go. USA. Yeah. Awesome. Although we love the UK, so we're okay with either <laughs> one. Okay, a true friend is the greatest of all blessings. That's beautiful. And this is just using that water brush as well? Yep. Fantastic. And how did you get this effect here that you were showing us? The rose here? Yeah. This is clean color. Oh, okay. It's so still water-based dye. Um, Gonzai Tanby or I water-based pigment. Got it. Um, so Kiritaki, we have everything. We have dye base, we have pigment base, we have alcohol base markers. Um, but before we move away from Gonzai Tanby, oh sure, you notice the metallics. Oh, I did. So there's the three metallics, metallics that come in the only the 36 color. Wow. Um, but we have a silver, we have a gold, and then we have a luscious gold. Oh my goodness. Luscious gold. <laughs> of course you do. Look at this. These are the three metallics together. Karataki products are awesomeness personified. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Look at those colors. Stars can't shine without darkness. That's just such a beautiful And the saying. without is the white. So look how great and opaque yeah. that white shows up on the black paper. It's beautiful. It's amazing. So they're, what did you say they were? You said they were opaque, glossy. Creamy. Creamy. I don't know. All those good beautiful. words. <laughs> okay. Fantastic. Um, and then so here, I've done washes with them. Yeah, um, you can do something so, so simple by. And this is something anyone really can so, do. Yeah. This. This background Just is practice, so your, practice your handwriting or stamp it. I do have one that I stamped. Oh, so, I'm not talking about the lettering. I was talking about the background. <laughs> I don't know. That lettering yeah. looks like it takes. So here's another practice. wash that I did. This is the Wink of Luna. This is the Wink of Luna. I just applied it to a stamp and stamped it straight onto the oh, watercolor. Oh, fantastic. That's smart. So you're using the inks. Um, from the pen, the Winko Luna pen, and right. putting it onto a stamp and using that as a stamp ink. Yep. Love it. Luscious is such a great word. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay. How sweet. Here's another one. More Gonzai Tambi. Intermixing the Gonzai Tambi. Strawberry. Super cute. But yeah, so you, can, you can see the gloss. Here. Hopefully you can yeah. see the gloss. And what is the gloss from? The watercolor. So the more thick oh you apply gosh. it, it's glossy. So it's naturally going to come out glossy like mm -hmm. that if you want it to. Yes. Otherwise, it'll give it that matte watercolor finish. Once you water it down a bit, yes. Oh, that's fantastic. So just, it just depends on how much you put on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then it says, I bought most of the colors of Zig Rider pens way back when, and now if I get some extra bucks, I would love to get the new markers. Yeah, because <laughs> they're they're, you're always yeah. coming out with new colors, yes. right? And um, now we have the watercolor pens, which you were talking about. Yes. The watercoloring with a pen. Yes. Is it an actual watercolor pen, or is it a pen that you can watercolor with? Are you talking about the clean color yeah. here? It's a it's a water based dye. Oh, so, okay. Yes. So you can watercolor. So with like it. for this one here, the right color. Oh, it kind of is. All I add is just a tiny bit at the bottom of the pillow uh -huh. petal, and then blend it out with my um, and then from there I just blend it out. Okay. So you're just 
getting in there with the pen, and because it's water-based dye, you're able to move it around. Yes, correct. That I mean, it's awesome. it's just like with the Gonzai Tambi. I can do the same thing what with the Gonzai What if it dries? Tambi. Will it still move after it's dried, or it needs to have uh, it no, it will. Fresh? I recommend it when it's fresh. Okay. It'll get more blending. Yeah, that makes It'll total sense. It'll be more sense. blendable. That is beautiful. This is yeah, so relaxing. Watercoloring is so relaxing and easy because it's just blending the colors together. So darn pretty. It looks like it would be relaxed. It is. Did I just, oh my gosh, you just read my mind, Beth. <laughs> so yeah, you can get the glossy and the matte from one product with the, um, the Gonzai, sorry, Gonzai Tambi right here. Okay, that's these right here, the palettes, the cakes. And look at this. This is the clean color. And do they come individually or do they only come yes. in the big oh, sets? Yeah. Okay. They come individually. But this is a beautiful a set of six. Booth. Absolutely, okay. we're going to do that. Definitely. Okay. Is that beautiful? I had another sign to show. Yeah. Oh, okay. You can grab it? Oh, okay. Sorry. I wanted to show it. So these are the different colors? Yeah, you know what? Let me just take that off. Traditional Japanese watercolor. Oh, wow. That is really beautiful. Look at all these colors. And look at the variation you can get. That is so pretty. Imagine all the blending and new uh, colors you can make with all of these. Okay, so what is the difference from these pens and the pens from 15 years ago? 15 years ago, as in these guys here? Yes. So what's the innovative new thing with it? Okay, we'll get Victor to give us some answers. And then also they asked if you recommend to keep the pens horizontal. They are dye-based, so it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. There's no pigment to settle at the bottom of the oh, cartridge. Oh, okay. Um, and speaking of just the dye and the um, pen itself, I believe it is the same. Right, right, okay. Um, so they've been, this, Maria's been learning watercolor and she really wants to try the pens. If you're just starting out and getting the feel of watercolor, mm -hmm. having a pen form, it's a it comfortable, easier. you have yeah. more control. And then also just adding in a lot, our, uh, the water brush. Yep, yes. you just have more control. That's great. Okay, well, let's come over here and show them the, the other pieces. We can get the answer to the question in here. Show them your beautiful booth. So we have the Millennium, which yes. everyone has, of course. Yes. Because that is a wonderful pen. Um, you want to tell them what these are? Or do you want one of them? These to are permanent pa based pigment pens. So mm -hmm. permanent, I use these with a watercolor. So I lay, like I did with my rose, I laid down my pattern first. Right. Let it dry. You don't have to wait. But, right, right. And then so you just add your water-based size. It's waterproof. And, mm -hmm. and that's important if you're going to watercolor. You yep. gotta start with the waterproof. We have sets. We have colors. All the colors are right here that you see. That's beautiful. Um, the sizes go through 005, so super, super tiny, all the way up to uh, 0.8. And then we're down, can we move down to Winkostel? This is my <laughs> this favorite is product. Yeah. I love the Winkostel. And these are all sold individually and in sets as well? Correct. Okay. Beautiful. And down here? We have the calligraphy too. Uh, this guy's new. Um, originally, oh. we have just the calligraphy. Uh -huh. um, I've owned many Zig calligraphy pens, <laughs> that's for sure. So uh, it's double-sided. Okay. One end is 3.5 millimeters, and then the smaller one is 2 millimeters. That's fantastic. So these two sizes, um, if you're just starting out with doing calligraphy, um, very easy. Very easy to get the feel of it. Okay, so the, um, Maria says, I've used some waterproof pens in my watercolor, yet they bleed. One of the main things that she says, I'm going to try yours. One of the main things that's important is that if you use a pen... And you want a watercolor on it, you have to let that pen dry first. Yes, completely dry. Completely dry, because it is water still, even though it's a waterproof pen. Yes. But it has to be dry before it becomes waterproof. So that might have been your problem, but um, definitely try the Zig pens. We, I love mine. I've 
had pretty much every Zigpen ever to come out. Oops. Okay, and then, let's see. Of course, you still have your two-way glue. Yeah. That glue is awesome. I've used that on many of Gotten projects. so many coffee blends from it. I didn't know it was so popular. It's oh, so it's big. I mean, everyone. So yeah. Long. Yeah. And then what's this pen here? This is Winkastella. This is a bullet point. So, uh, same thing, glitter. Uh, all the colors, it's just a bullet point. Okay. There's a clear as well. Very pretty. Do you want to let Victor answer some of the yeah, questions? Yeah, he can come in and too. Victor, you want to come over here? And <laughs> they were asking um, about the difference between the pens 15 years ago and the pens now. Um, well, 15 years ago, I... Oh, hello. <laughs> so, um, the, the difference from the pens 15 years ago to now, uh, I, I don't really have an immediate answer because... Um, I wasn't familiar with the brand 15 years ago. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess they're just saying, like, what changes have happened with Zig? Like, is the, mm -hmm. the construction different? Are there any difference in the tips or anything like well, that? Well, a lot of the feedback that we do get is that uh, the, 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 a lot of the packaging has, uh, has, has changed itself. Uh, I do know that many of the uh, products that we carry has uh, maintained its quality for so much, uh, so much time yeah, from the, uh, the bristles them. and... Oh, I'm very camera shy. Oh, he's camera <laughs> shy. Okay, okay, we won't do that to him. Okay, all right. Here we go. So go ahead and just go ahead and answer. Just hold okay. that up so uh, they can hear you. So, so uh, I, I guess one thing that I hear so much of, uh, it, not, not exactly uh, in here, but out over here for our clean color is uh, on the side, is that a lot of our older models came in opaque tips for as now they are clear and see-through. And the yes. best advantage of that is when you do get your product, you can see what you're getting. And you know what I love about that too? If someone puts the cap on the wrong color pen. Oh, yes. And that happens all the time mm -hmm. at the Art Center because we have so many pens and so many people using them. And if they put the wrong color cap, mm -hmm. you open it up, you don't look closely, and maybe it's blue or green, and you right. don't realize, and you end up using the wrong color. So that is genius. Uh, especially if you have just a slight variety of the colors. Exactly. You know, just three, three purples here. Right, You know, right. uh, 803, uh, 81. Uh -huh. They look very similar to each other. If they had all the opaque tips on there, you wouldn't tell until you open right. it up. It I love it. I love it. And these are your water brushes? They come yeah. in oh, yes. different Four sizes? sizes. Mm -hmm. Four different sizes of the water brushes. So when you guys are asking about those. So but, um, some of them are saying, I have black zigs that are 10 years old and I'm still using them. Uh -huh. so oh, they're, that, they're, that's a testament to, to, to what we're about, quality. Definitely. And that's a hun uh, over uh, 100 years of... Uh, <laughs> That's oh. fantastic. They're yeah. just saying how they, several people are saying the same thing. Oh. That they've had them for so long. And here's the different watercolor. Um, Gonsai the Gonsai Tambi. Tambi. Beautiful Gonsai And they Tambi. come in these different sets. Yes. I love it. Oh, and you even have a little um, to-go box. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> these are our, uh, our little uh, uh, palettes, which is really nice. This comes already with a set of um, this one, which is uh, very used, uh, used much as a blender. Uh, also, our um, drawing pen that comes with it. Uh, these inks here are not uh, exactly of, uh, of Gansai. They're made from a slightly different material, okay. but they work very well. Uh, these little palettes here, uh, this is made of, uh, of Gansai. Gansai, from uh, my understanding, is, is actually uh, the ink, and then the Tambi is just um, the, uh, the label behind it. Okay, mm -hmm. and I love that you've got the place on top to mix colors and things like that, right? Uh, yes, they do that. Yeah, yeah well. beautiful. And you guys, I didn't know you carried mica. We just introduced the micas. Oh, excuse me. We, <laughs> we just introduced the micas this year, and uh, they're phenomenal. They are fantastic. Uh, it's, it's both colors. Um, I don't know if we have any to show off. Um, The golds and silvers are very rich. Oh, that's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. You painted with it. Is it a paint or is it a, a powder? Nope. It's a, yeah, it's a, um, a water-based pigment. Oh, my gosh. It's so beautiful. before use, of course, you have to shake it up. Sometimes oh. pigment or powder. Okay. So there's a gold and a silver. I just use a Sumi brush. And these are your brushes yep. here? Mm -hmm. I love the traditional method right. of it. Right? Yeah. Super pretty. And what do we have down here? Now, these are our cocoidos. Uh, what, I, what I love about these is that these are such cute pens. And, uh, <laughs> they oh, are really cute. Where's your camera? Oh, I couldn't right see it. Sorry. Here, sorry. Okay. 
Ah, here we go. So these ones are, are customizable um, for, I guess, to your personality or to what uh, what to you have. To your personality. Wait a minute. How does okay, this so work? Okay, so you pur purchase the refill. Okay. That's your refill. It's shiny. It's glitter, isn't it cute? <laughs> it's a glitter pen? Yeah. Oh. No, 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 no. The casing is. That's just the design oh. of it. <laughs> I was going to freak out on you. Sorry. <laughs> Can you so, tell I like glitter? <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. So, the uh, case of is course, glittery. The casing itself is glitter, and then we have a variety of different colors in uh, different some of these tips. nice tip. Mm -hmm. oh. And you can draw with these ones. We also have ball points, and we have also a um, bristle, uh, a bristle tip refill. Bristle um, tip refill. Yes, okay, and then you the just brush brush. so you have the case, and then you get to change out what ink and pen tip you want inside. Yep, Is absolutely. that right? Can you mm -hmm. put the case in my hand so I can show them? Okay, so the see separately. how the case works. So you get the case and you get to pick what's going inside. Yes. Yes. Like uh, almost like a fountain pen then, because like with the fountain pen you can change out tips and. Oh, uh, similar. Yes. Yeah. The, uh, the, and, and these I are these are great. Up. Sorry. <laughs> you don't have to say yes. <laughs> you just tell me no. <laughs> well, no, no I, you, you were going in the right direction. Okay, I'm going in the right direction. This is so cute. Isn't you it have adorable? a bunch of these. Yes, okay. and you can intermix inter them so you can put pink cap on the oh. green body, and it's super cute when you have the pink, uh, the pink ink. And coming out of the green body, it just looks so cute. The colors match. These are adorable. Where do they have these? You can find them at uh, Ben Franklin's in uh, okay. Grass Valley. You can find them at. Uh, oh, I don't know where your audience is coming from. They're so all I'm over. It's okay. an international audience. So <laughs> okay. They're everywhere. But do you see they're this, worldwide. you guys? So it's like this little mini pen. So cute. Yeah, I've never seen them either. But. Now we know. Now we know. Okay. And what else do we have over here? These are all brushes. Mm -hmm. We have our brushes. Um, and then your traditional brushables with brush on one end and... Actually, they're, they're both brushes. Oh. Uh, one side uh, has a much darker uh, color, or excuse me, uh, a more rich color, and the other side is 50% different. How does that work? So um, there are two... Oh, what do you call chambers? them? Uh, yes, that's right. So it's a dual chamber. So you have one here, oh, one so color, one here. Oh, so both brushes, but you're going down a shade. Mm -hmm. yes. Oh my gosh! Did you have you guys seen this? So it's we've been color brushed and it's fifty percent different. Yes. That is amazing. I'm thinking of everything. <laughs> you see those? Can I get a test? I just want to make sure you guys can hear me. That's beautiful. And then these for here. These are our new Clean Color F's. And uh, Clean Color F is uh, a water based dye, and they have um, dual sided tips. One side is a fine tip, another side is a bullet point tip. Mm -hmm. oh. Clean Color F, mm -hmm. fine tip, bullet tip. Yes. And then um, they also come in, in pigment colors, and these are stored uh, horizontally so they can and last you have longer. Some metallics in there? Yes, indeed. Beautiful. So they're saying these are great. The the brushables, the dual tip is great for the um, shading, which is so true. That's why they make those pens so that you can have different shades, right, of the yes. same color. Exactly. That is so beautiful. You guys just never cease to amaze us. <laughs> and are those new? Uh, no. Uh, this uh, this line here uh, has actually been around for some time. I believe uh, the eighties. Um, we have uh, what is now referred to as uh, chalk markers and paint markers. What were they referred to as before? Poster markers. Oh, okay. So, um, cool. during the time when this was developed, uh, there was, I don't think there was a terminology for, uh, for chalk, chalk markers, markers. Mm -hmm. so, but oh. the poster was, was a big thing. Okay. Uh, but the ink uh, performs the same. So we have wet wipes uh, from uh, Illumigraph to our uh, regular uh, wet wipes, and that's the kind of ink that it has. So you can just wipe it off with water and a paper towel, leaves no ghost, comes right off. And then we have our, uh, our uh, traditional poster mats. Those are great. Mm -hmm. use, I've used those a lot. Those are fantastic. Oh, they're, they're, I love them. I, yeah. I love them so much. These, these things are also um, referred so to as... sign making, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. No, just just like look here. Look at this one, you guys. Did Jasmine, did you letter this? Yes. Mm -hmm. Of course she did. <laughs> Amazing lettering artist. She's a natural. It. She is a natural. She said she practiced. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> She's naturally you have to practice. And big brushables. And then this is, okay, they were telling me about the big brushes here. Those are awesome. And they were saying that those books, 
those um, pens over there are perfect for adult coloring books. That's such a new thing oh, right yeah. now. I, I've mm-hmm. heard that a lot here today. Yeah, uh, actually, the adult coloring books are very popular. Mm-hmm. That's great. Okay, now you don't want to be on camera, so we'll let you go this way <laughs> before I turn it around. Here, Jasmine, you'll be on camera with me. <laughs> yeah, they do have a pen for all reasons. Yes. There's seriously, are you just loving being able to design with these pens? Um, yes. <laughs> yeah, because you can do all the different fine tip, brush tip, you've got the calligraphy pens, you've got the watercolors. You got the, yep. And then there are permanent inks. They've got yep. the dye inks. You really have like the whole playground. Oh yeah, yeah. And then if you want to get out and make a sign, you got your poster, yep. your chalk pens. This is so much fun. This is fantastic. Thank you so much for um, showing us Thank you us so all much. These. Thank you. I love it. So um, they said, did I see metallic chalk markers? Are those metallic chalk markers? Yes. Yes, you did. Yep, you they do me? have. Um, can I just hold it? Pick them up. Can I hold it in my hand? Oh, there you go. Oh no, this look, you guys. They are metallic. Those are the woodcraft ones. They're not. Yeah. There's also fluorescent. Fluorescent metallic. Can I just? Oh, is it? oh yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> look at those colors, you guys. Metallic, shimmery, awesome chalk markers. I know. I need to shop here for all my watercolor supplies. Definitely. Definitely. Yes. So, um, all right, wipe the drool off. We're going to pick a winner. <laughs> You're going to do a little giveaway. Oh, yeah. cool. Did they tell you? No. <laughs> well, it's something that gets shipped from your office, and you can give away whatever you want. So okay. we'll just say it's a surprise Yeah, definitely. Pack. Yes, Is that definitely. okay? Oh, surprise probably be some pack? pens. <laughs> Maybe some pens, pens or something. Or, I don't know, watercolor. I don't yeah. Know, whatever. Whatever you guys would like to surprise them with. And so um, whoever wins this, you have to email us within the hour with your address. Um Robin will put your name up, uh, the information up there, and if you don't email us in an hour, I keep the prize. That's just that's all there is. To it. Nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm sure you're fine that with way. that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You ready? Okay. So the winner is of this wonderful prize pack that we are going to surprise them with. <laughs> Uh, they're all excited about the metallic chalk markers. Those are really cool. Do you love playing with those? Yes. Yeah. Oh, those super are fun. fun. Those are very fun. Okay, so uh, who won? Robin? Are you the winner, Robin? Hey, you are on here. You've been on here all day. If you win, <laughs> you deserve it. Robin! Yeah, yay! congratulations. You guys nice. all agree Robin deserves to have this marker set, whatever it is, right? Thank you so much, Robin. She is a You're volunteer gonna love it. that has been on all day moderating and oh, pulling nice. up all the links and oh, everything. She worked hard, so she deserves, she deserves it. Okay, we'll nice get her something set. good. Yeah, and it's random.org. No, she never cheats. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much. No, no, Robin, you're fine. We're very happy for you to win a prize. Thank you. And there's a bunch of designers on there, so now they know more wow. about your product. Yeah. So this is really fun. Yeah. Thank you so much. No, for thank you very see much. You. Your, your work is beautiful beautiful thank we you absolutely very much. love it so you guys um check out their pinterest you guys or whatever whatever pinterest, social media sites Pinch, they put yep. up there make sure you get on there and if you make things with their pens you guys want to see it right? oh absolutely tag That's us in all part. your pictures tag them hashtag <laughs> hashtag everything hashtag everything <laughs> <laughs> oh we should just do that hashtag hashtag everything okay. <laughs> okay i love it thanks you guys so much thank you jasmine thank you um, I'm going to give you that CAJ surprise in one second. So let me just say goodbye to Jasmine. Hang right, on. Bye. All right, everyone. Elena with Charity Wings. We are at the Sierra Pacific Crafts Mixed Media Buying Event, and I have a big announcement about the fun thing we are doing for CHA Anaheim. We just finished our live stream. I hope you all had a wonderful time. Please tell me you had a good time. The prizes were amazing. Um, learning about the product, I think, was so fantastic. And we are going to do a show three times this size in Anaheim. Where our schedule is already really full, um, but we're going to fill it for sure. It's going to be three days of live streaming. What that means is 
We'll do between 36 and 40 interviews over the three days. I have a co-host, my lovely, most awesome, love her to pieces friend, Marisa Puelco, is going to co-host with me so that I will get bathroom breaks and I will get to eat things. <laughs> Because as you see, I went all day without stopping. But um, Marisa's going to do little interviews from the show floor. But that's not all. Are you guys ready for this? We are going to sell 250 ultimate sample boxes. Ultimate sample boxes. And how that works is the first 250 people to buy these boxes, we're going to sell them for $40 each. Um, plus shipping, and they will have something in them from every manufacturer we're streaming. We're going to call this stream Live in 4D. So that means you get to watch, you get to listen, you get to talk to the people, and you're going to have the product right in your hand. Now, as you can imagine, some of these manufacturers can't send 250 of some of their products, such as, you know, a big shot or a spell but or you know the more high dollar tools they can't send 250 so for those manufacturers they'll put things in like possibly coupons or they all have agreed that they want to offer golden tickets some of them are saying i'll put 10 golden tickets in some of them are saying i'll put 20 golden tickets in and they'll give away special prize packs to those winners so it's going to be really awesome i know i just realized i'm in the back of the show floor so how about if i walk to the front and repeat this amazing news because there's more so you just hang tight let me walk to the front of the show okay so Elena from Charity Wings, I'm here to tell you the awesome news about CHA Anaheim and what we're going to be doing there. We are going to be streaming three days worth of live streams. That means 36 to 40 interviews, depending on how many people I can take. I'm going to have the wonderful, beautiful, amazing Marisa Powelko with me. She'll be co-hosting, so it's going to be so much fun. She'll give me little breaks here and there, pull people off the floor, ask them things about what they've seen at the show, and give you little extra sneak peeks. So that will be really fun. and. Um, it will be different because I have to have breaks if I'm going to stream for three days, <laughs> unlike today, which was a no-break day. Um, so that's one of it. The other part is we are going to do 250 ultimate sample boxes. So you want to be watching the Facebook page and our newsletters. So like our Facebook page, sign up for our newsletter on our website. Those 250 boxes are going to go to the first um, people who donate $40 and pay for the shipping and they're going to have something in them from every manufacturer that we're going to be interviewing. It's going to be amazing. Oh, look at Hi Richard. That hair is amazing. Oh, he's so cute. See, and you'll see adorableness like that guy right there. Yeah, that's Shari's baby. How cute is he? I love getting photobombed. I love it. Okay, so um, Inside the box is going to be samples of product from every manufacturer we're interviewing or golden tickets for manufacturers that only sell like tools and things like that that can't ship 250 of something to people. So it's going to be really fun. There's going to be tons of giveaways. You're going to be able to see all those new releases, the insider sneak peek. Um, even if you don't have a box, you're going to be able to watch. So if you don't get one of the 250, you can still watch. It's always free. There's always giveaways, and it's always so much fun. Um, the other thing is, yeah, so keep an eye on the newsletter. The other thing is um, we are doing something very special for the opening ceremony of CHA that everyone can participate in. So keep an eye out for that. I'm just confirming the final details of the opening ceremonies of what we're doing. But just think that no matter where you are in the world, you will be able to be a part of these opening ceremonies because it's their 75th anniversary, so think cards, okay? I don't, but don't hold me to it because we got to get final details, but it's going to be amazing, and we're so excited to be able to do this with you guys every year, and it's a huge fundraiser for us. We need it. We're moving the Art Center, and in order to keep growing and be able to keep our mission going, we have to raise more money. We need to get to 350 members. We're at about 140 right now. We need to get to 350 so we can open more art centers. We just have to be able to get this 
one running and then it'll be easy to keep duplicating this um, program all over the world. That's our plan. I hope you'll be a part of it. Join me in my mission to spread and give the gift of art. And thank you guys so, so much. Thank you for supporting. And uh, I'll see you next time. Okay? Thanks again. Bye, everybody.